Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode 348. We're here reviewing the newest episode, which aired almost a week ago for One Piece. This is episode 1105, The Beautiful Act of Treason, a Spy Saucy. This episode and the rest of chapter 1073 from pages... <clears throat> Four to fifteen of chapter one thousand seventy three. Yep, it with this episode it definitely does finish it up. So what happens this episode? Well, first we pick up right where we left off last and which thank God we started off with this because it'd be kind of dumb basically. We have this really cool cliffhanger and we don't get to like toward the end, like halfway of the episode. We start off with this where oh by the way the preview had it looked like where Sasuke was gonna was gonna fight Zoro when I saw him preview and no that didn't happen here. It's like he's not gonna be very trustworthy and then of course well like she she looks at books like oh aren't you uh the strong member Soul King? Yeah. <laughs> so then uh Saki basically contacts her and well of course the the Zoro and Brooke will be fine and of course, well, the Seraphim was still attacking the lab. So Loth and Edison run out. And this is this next part is complete and original. They proceed to fire and this weapon tell them to stop. And like, of course, Loth, of course, is of course Loth and they end up falling. Loth is caught caught by Frankie. Edison is caught by Sanji. Which of course all were told to stop. And of course, we also have a brief fight sequence between Zoro and S. Hawk, the clone of Hawkeye Mihawk. Yep. And of course, basically with that, and also, Sasuke took a time to put sea stone handcuffs on Rabaluchi and Kaku. And then we cut to Luffy running around the base looking for Vegapunk, who has disappeared. They heard of Vegapunk Stella. Interesting. But it's the main Vegapunk. He has completely disappeared. And, like, everyone's all ready to leave, but he's missing. Bonnie is not in the episode. And you might be curious. Did they cut, cut it out of the manga? No. She was simply not here. She was probably, I think she was there early on, but not, not, not in the episode material that film. And then we cut to... The Island Sphinx. Where we see Marco talking to two kids... And they were saved by somebody. We'll get we'll, 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 we'll reveal who it is. So the flashback shows that they're being hassled by a guy named Rafu, a crooked Navy official. They never identify exactly what rank he is. Just that he's a crooked Navy official. Where he's there like, ooh, I. He's like, hello, buddy. I want Whitebeard's treasure. And he, he does his raft. He says, raft, they fire guns, bullets at them. At one point, they're in the kill a kid. They get trying to kill a grandmother. And then Edward Weevil shows up completely out of nowhere. Just whacks the guy with his freaking spear. And everybody runs away. Like, everyone's all saved. And then Kazu comes back, kidnaps him. And then we see St. Saturday by the end of the episode. He was captured. Also, well, Edward was mom reveals she's actually... I mean, there she is. So she's actually... Saucy Buckingham. So, basically, the one we see in the young one, that's actually a clone of hers. Yep. And that she's a former member of the Rock Pirates and also a member of the Mads group. She's a Mads group uh, freeloader. And, of course, she tells Marco, you don't believe that he's actually Whitebeard's son. But I know somebody who can prove that he's Whitebeard's son. And that person is Dr. Vigapunk. Yep, but great episode. Loved it. I'm like, wow, still a lot of really good episodes here. So, that's a pretty much a particular view. Now, I was planning to do My Hero Academia next, but then I got a notification. Oh, Blue Exorcist, the final episode of the season came out. Awesome. That's going to be next. And then My Hero. Yep. So, I'll see you all in a bit for Blue Exorcist. Okay. Um, until next video. Bye.